Donald Trump goes back and forth as to whether he loves or hates Fox News. And unfortunately for Fox News, they are about to get a lot of bad press from Donald Trump and other Republicans. And that's because Fox News just dropped a brutal election bombshell on Trump and he is not going to be happy about this because things are not looking too good for him. Now we'll go over that election bombshell here in a second, but first I wanted to highlight another moment from Fox News today that is going to make Republicans upset. Because Fox News aired a significant portion of Tim Walz's speech to a firefighters union where he absolutely slammed Donald Trump and Project 2025. And honestly, I was super surprised that they aired all of it. So take a look at this clip. Look, I'll keep saying it. Words are cheap. Actions is all you should care about. Make sure you're counting on what was delivered. When Donald Trump was president, he blocked overtime benefits for millions of workers. He opposed efforts to raise the minimum wage. And he even proposed slashing budgets for federal fire service programs. Those are just simply facts. But look, it's not just what they've done. It's what they're going to do. This is the big thing. One of the goals of their project 2025 is to screw the middle class, making it harder for workers to collectively bargain, allowing employers to drastically cut overtime or eliminate it, slash taxes for the ultra wealthy by imposing a national sales tax on the rest of us. Look, I've said this, I'm an old time football coach. If you draw up a playbook, you plan on using it. Project 2025 is a plan to reshape what America looks like, moving away from the middle class and putting it right back on the oligarchs and the wealthy at the top. He said he's gonna repeal the Affordable Care Act. That thing is pre-existing conditions. Those are things that make sure that our family gets health care. And for many of our families, and I know you don't get to participate in it, but your families do, my mom does, Social Security and Medicare are life-saving programs for them. Instead of funding those programs, they talk about cutting them. So here, this is what I always say. If you got a billion dollars, you don't give a damn if your Social Security check shows up. But if you're like my mom, that's how you pay for your food. That's how you pay for your heat. That's how things get done. So that check, pretty damn important to protect it. Again, use their own words. This is a guy who told his friends down at Mar-a-Lago, and this is a direct quote. Look, all of you are you're rich as hell. We're going to give you a tax cut while telling workers that wages are too high. That says it all. And again, if you're confused on where you're going to go, think about what impacts you, your life, and your family the most. So let me tell you exactly what Vice President Harris will, and I will do when we get elected. As President, then President Harris will sign the PRO Act, making it easier for unions to organize. We'll protect Safer Grant Program. It's good to see you say this. If you have to spend any time thinking if you want to support the PRO Act, that pretty much tells you where you're at, because that's a pretty easy one. Same thing with the Safer Grant Program. We know it's essential to helping serve and protect communities, especially as we're starting to see intensive heat waves. We'll keep fighting to protect your retirement benefits, lowering taxes for working families, and finally making corporations just pay their fair share. They're doing fine. They're doing fine. They can pay their fair share. Between airing that speech that makes their platform look really bad, to this new election bombshell, they are going to be hated by the right for quite some time. So what was that election bombshell? Well, let's take a look at it. So here is this article, very much like 2020, Fox News poll shows Harris leading Trump in key Sunbelt states. Experts weighed in on a new Fox poll released Wednesday evening that showed Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris gaining ground in Sunbelt swing states as Donald Trump's support held steady. Fox News sent out nationwide surveys to 1,000 registered voters in Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, and North Carolina. The surveys were conducted after the DNC and after Robert F. Kennedy Jr. endorsed Donald Trump. And according to Fox News, Harris is up by one percentage point in Arizona and two points in Georgia and Nevada, while Trump is ahead by one point in North Carolina, and all are within the margin of sampling error. That's a marked change since past surveys by the outlet showed Biden trailing Trump in each of the states by five or six points. The poll sent waves through social media Wednesday from pollsters, strategists, and others. Fox News poll is another reliable poll showing stubborn Latino support for Trump, wrote Lincoln Project co-founder and Republican strategist Mike Madrid. Harris 55%, Trump 42 He added that the numbers among Republicans weren't as strong for Harris as they were for Biden four years ago, but only nominally. The environment is there to make bigger gains, but it won't be done on cable news, Twitter, or online, he said. Madrid added that the presidential race is shaping up to be very much like 2020, like very much by 2020. 
Statistician Nate Silver, founder of 538, echoed Madrid's comment, saying the Fox News poll results are basically exact Biden 2020's actual results when he won the popular vote by 4.5 points. Sam Brody, national political reporter for the Boston Globe, called the poll very notable. Fox pulled Arizona and Nevada's abortion rights ballot initiatives, and they are extremely popular, he said, pointing to the section of the surveys that showed three quarters of voters in each state will vote yes. That includes at least half of Republicans, 50% in Arizona and 54% in Nevada. And that, to me, is honestly the most surprising thing. 50% of Republicans are in support of abortion access. David Weigel, political reporter for Semaphore, said that the poll showed that down-ballot races continued to be awful for Republicans. And then here is support for other Democrats in those states. So yeah, these have been some really big gains for Kamala Harris. And I think this is great, and I've seen a lot of people online saying, oh, well, polls actually show that Kamala Harris is not as popular as Trump. But as we're seeing, as time goes on, more support is going to be going to Kamala Harris. So as much as you may try to deny Harris's popularity, it's just not going to work. But overall, today has not been a good day for Fox News, and I'm sure they're going to receive so much hate in the coming week. But honestly, they deserve it. When you pander to a base that doesn't think for themselves and blindly follows their cult leader, this is the kind of behavior that you're going to receive. And you can't really expect anything else as you also publicly suck up to Donald Trump as well. So we should all be getting our popcorn because the rights implosion is about to be super amusing to watch.